That's all set. Um, That's May. She emailed me. There's a couple dates, right? May 17th and 18th or something? Something like that. She emailed me all the forms. Uh, they get the insurance closer to the date, so mm -hmm. once they get that, she'll uh, send that over to me. Um, did you see her email asking if they could allow dogs that day? Yeah, it, it did, dogs. and I told her that we don't allow them, but I told her that if she was willing to be responsible for the cleanup, that if anybody had asked, that said they needed to be leashed mm -hmm. and with them, and that they would be handling the cleanup, and if that happened, then we, you know, yeah. that's it. Don't advertise it, but right. you know, if people want to. Right. Ask you if they can bring their dogs. Just say yes. They just need to be leashed, and mm -hmm. and that you're responsible for the cleanup. And she was okay with that. Yes. Who that falls on their insurance policy if anything happens? As far as I think Tracy had brought that up. I asked for them. He answered me. Yeah. <laughs> as far as you know, Tracy, anything can happen with dogs. Yeah, but it was their that insurance. falls on yeah. their insurance. Okay. That's not really clear to her. And then, so she's uh, also been in contact with Jen. Yes. Um, about you know possibly doing it around the fall festival too, or the same time, or but they're looking for a an additional date. Yeah. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, See how the first one goes. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So, but I know Jen and her have been in touch, so. Okay. Um, and then Jen also talked to me a bit. Um, I have to think back, because I, I would have been able to take notes because I was moving around when she called me, but um, about yeah. like the, uh, like we did the pump pass and kick. Mm -hmm. And her thing was like, if maybe Rec could come up with some sort of sport themed like obstacle course. Um, for with for the for the kids night during time? I think during the right day. day was, it's like so when yeah. we were there last time. Yeah, this we play. That's part of that, the family fun. Family, family, family fun. Night. Fun. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Sports theme. Would you say obstacle course? Yeah. So. You know something to that if we want to think about what kind of things we could do. So not doing the pump pass kit, changing it to an obstacle course. Yeah. Okay. So if we could come up with some ideas and things that kids could run through, sport related. I did like the idea. I, I just just incorporate weapon all the sports into a yeah, game. Like, yeah. you, you gotta like a kick ball, your soccer ball into a net, ball. you gotta run, you gotta throw like targets, that yeah. type of like. Yeah. You could probably do it, you could switch every time. Huh. Do it if we get into basketball hoops. If you're doing right, it you there, you can oh. right. it, that's what I mean. So there's a bunch of different stuff that kind of my brain was spinning on, but then That's what, July? Is that, that's July? Or that's yeah. yeah. It's, it's the week, the 13th is a Saturday, so it's the, the week prior. Family fun week. Right. The vendor mark on the 13th, and then the railroad days. You know, the so it's the week before the 13th? Excuse me? It's the week so before the 17th? The 13th. Before the 13th. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'll we'll add that to the agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. for the ski club, um, waiting for the invoice for Mohawk. Uh, usually the invoice comes in for the exact same amount, so there's no, there's, there's no money um, made by this. And from the sounds of it, even if we miss a week, they're gonna get a pass, and we don't have to worry about refunds, so. Um, the balance on our special Rec Commission checking account, and this is before the ski club deposit.
deposit, because basic that's going to be a wash when I get the invoice. Uh, the balance as of January 31st is $9,329.15. I've submitted the grant request through the Cayman Foundation uh, for the rink, for the tarp for the rink for um, next year. So hopefully we'll get a positive response. I know last year we did not, but hopefully this year we will. Um, I did submit, I emailed it out to everyone, the 24-25 budget proposal uh, with no increase. Um, I did request, and this is something I will uh, make an appointment with the executive, new executive assistant, uh, to review the Eversource bill, because we're paying for street lights, and I'm just not sure why Rec Commission has to pay for street lights. That one on that yeah, I mean, we, I mean, I realize they have to be up, but it just doesn't seem like it should be part of our responsibility since it's, okay. um, and because we get, um, like I said in my letter, we, yeah. I think there's like 10 different lights. I mean, obviously we pay for the pool house and we pay for pavilion. Yeah. Understood. Most street lights, yeah. But, and, and I even think. Somehow, I think the Little League, the street light at the Little League field got put under ours instead of Little League. So anyway, I'm going to sit down and um, just go over all of that. Um, and I did reallocate funds uh, because we need to increase our payroll, the minimum wage going up for the pool, um, the lifeguards, and for chemicals. And that money um, was reallocated from the events repairs and the utilities line items and that is all I have for the, the budget if anybody has any questions Um, basketball tennis court sign update. Do we have an update on that? Or we? Somebody was supposed to take I was supposed to take it. She was you. I'm sure that was you. Um, so when I get that, I'll send that and the tennis and the My. basketball sign. Yeah, I actually just talked to um, Yi about something else. So I'll okay. call uh, God, with Gary. Gary. Um, I did have work and while we're talking about tennis, I did have a couple of people um, grab my ear about the tennis court and just kind of going there and evaluating the backstop and what needs to be updated for spring. They use it regularly and, you know, there's just a few things that they want. Yeah, we need, I mean, the old one needs to be torn down and then when that gets torn down, we need to assess the fencing. Right. And see if that side is something that needs to Placed or you know, just tightened up or something. Um, is that something we should do with like town crew, or is that something that I guess we it should depends on kind of what needs to be done? Because when we take that down, you know, because right now it's pulling it in a little bit. Right. If we, we take gotta, it off, and then we got to see. We might have I think we got to kind of look at and see what the concrete looks like under those poles. But I know that backboard is old and heavy. And it definitely needs to be addressed. Yeah, yeah. a couple of people have, have kind yeah. of told me it's a little. Yeah, it I is. haven't been up. No, it is. It, it was. It's, it's pulling it down because okay. it's, it's more water. But like, I mean, building it is something that isn't too involved. I mean, is that something? I know it's not cool, but is that something that they can mention at the selectman meeting of maybe getting a volunteer to? To build, a new backstop. to build a new backstop at the tennis court? Is that something that you guys would mind throwing on your list? Yeah, it's just, just got to be the same. I know Oliver Wolcott always looks for municipal projects to the oh. trade school in Torrington for, yeah. their, for their carpentry classes. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're always looking to, to do something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will tell them that we're working on that. I think it's a good thing to pursue just you know, the increased interest in the pickleball activity. Yes. yes. That's There's a lot more. Do we need to do one we tape? To, we need to work one tape. Yes. Because okay. I'll, it'll probably all need to be replaced this year, and I okay. don't have enough. Okay. So if, if you're able to find that same on Amazon, that worked fine. Yep. Yep. It always pops up. Do you want to order yeah. again? Do you want to order again? So pickleball. <laughs> That's helpful enough. Yeah. So. All right, so we'll continue to work on all of that. Um, do you have any updates on the activity? So we, activity? we got the response from the yard goats. I think okay. we were kind of thinking maybe we should send out a survey to see what people in the community wanted, if we want to provide a bus, if we want to do the general tickets, or if we want to consider doing um, the sky deck, which is the one that comes with the two and a half hour, um, let's see, what's it? Two and a half hour classic menu, which is just basically burgers, hot dogs, you know, salads, and non alcoholic beverages uh, before the game. Um, I don't know what people are interested in. If they want to provide their own transportation, so I don't know if we want to consider. Do they provide a bus or no? No. Yeah. We would have to. Right. Have so I did reach out to JTR and that was the one, if we could fill the bus, it's a 56 passenger, um, which comes out to roughly $24 a person. Maybe, you know, the rec could contribute the gratuity for the driver. interested with bus or you know, yeah. for your own transportation. And basically the two different prices for the tickets, one's like one area specific that would just be private for us. And the lower, the reduced price is just the general seating group ticket. At a just, discount rate. Yeah. And with the higher price ticket, you do get that two and a half hour meal before. To get food. To get food. To get food. All in the same area. I know like, and just talking to other rec directors who have planned this trip before, sometimes these trips end up getting canceled because not you enough fill people to fill the bus. Mm -hmm. So like, 56 is a lot. So, so I think like, just something to consider like, like being able to, <laughs> to <laughs> get everyone on board and everybody have the bus. <laughs> being able to offer opportunity to get discounted tickets and a special night and stuff like that. And their own transportation. Mm -hmm. Like, right. Yeah. In fact, it's Hartford. It's not like we're going to New York or Boston. Because then it's up to them to get there. We're not canceling it and all that. Right. Right. Yeah. Which, because the bus is separate, like, we could get feedback to see what people want to do. We don't have to have that included. Right. And then if we were to go to the group sale, like the reduced ticket, and not the specialty section, then there's a 25 person minimum. So you to don't- get that rate? Yes, you can sign up for 50 tickets, but you only need to guarantee 25. So there's definitely options. Is there alcohol available in the special section? Um, yeah, I think, you can I think there is. Just not included in yes, it's just, just not, not included. It's not part of the price. And it's, yeah, it's called the Budweiser Sky Deck. So yes, so yes, so yes. So yes. I don't think they would advertise it. 
And that section holds 50 to 60 guests, which would work out perfectly if the, you know, if you wanted to use the bus. And so we would only get that if we did the bus, or no? No, the bus is separate. That's GTR. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So gotcha. it's fifty dollars for the sky deck. Okay. Plus twenty-four for the bus. Twenty-four for the so bus. So you're looking at seventy-four dollars. Yeah, for the more expensive package, where we can do the versus. What's the other price? Uh, let's see. What did I send out? Just here. Get a lot of prices out there too, just so that people. Or forty-one for the main seating, which includes the twenty-four dollars for the bus. But what if you did just the tickets alone? What's the difference? Twenty-four. You said forty-one fifty, right? It's forty-one and seventy-four with the bus, so just deduct twenty-four dollars off that. So it's forty-one. So it's forty-one dollars for the ticket. Yeah. No, forty-one for the ticket and. The bus. Oh, and the bus. Oh, okay. Oh. That, okay. Sorry. I got confused on that too. Yeah, sorry. Main seating. I'm trying to bus. go back to the email I sent out. So it's like seventeen dollars. <laughs> so seventeen. Ticket only. Ticket only. Yeah, one's fifty. And then if we're interested in Yukon games, we have to start that process late summer. Obviously, because we were late in getting going, and that they didn't have availability for free tickets, but they do offer them. We would just need to decide where and we want men's or women's. You can have something to throw on the bottom of the survey. Yeah. Like in addition, oh, would you be yeah. interested to any other? Click event? yes if you're interested if we ever do yeah. UConn. That's yeah. a good idea, Tracy. So like basketball? Mm -hmm. yes. Or hockey? Basketball. basketball. Which we're open to any of them. We're just fill out our was survey. That yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or was that uh, Excel? She's uh, the woman that I spoke to at UConn said we could pick any. Pick either? Yeah. So I know that for us, Harvard is a lot. I would Different suggest, yes. if it's a town yeah. thing, I would suggest yeah. Hartford, yeah. only because if you, has anyone ever been to a game at Gamble? No. It's, Is it a hall? No, it's... It's crazy. Yeah. Oh. You're on campus. You're at a yeah. oh, frat house. Yeah. You're on it. Yeah, you're so on I, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. No, it's, it's a lot fun. of fun. It's it is really fun. fun. But I probably not with Gamble, so no, Gamble's fantastic. But it's a different experience. I don't want to bring my kids there. Right. Okay. 41. And so Charlene yeah, just would want to go. So. Ticket and bus. And vote yeah. 17. <laughs> Tip off slate. Right. 17 for 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great. 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 Mm -hmm. It was fun. I got yeah. the court. Really? Yeah. Do this over. Yeah, I went to the Jaspers game. Right after just after just like, yeah. Thanksgiving, they weren't too bad. Right. Okay. But we can. At the XL, they were like 30 bucks. Okay. We were up high. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're like. Now they're. We sold out. The yeah, last you're not, you're not trying to go to right now. All right. Well, thank you for that. That was some good info, Adam. You're going to get that out for us, and just let us all know so we can. I'll send it to you guys first. Share it. Check. Yeah. Okay. Um, skating rink update. Um, on hold, right? Till next year. We're not going to. We're asking for the new liner. Um, Brian, do you want to speak a little bit on what we had discussed with you? The pond, or is that not something you want to? The what? The pond. Oh. You had mentioned, or are we not going there? Um, <laughs> I'll actually, let you. I had my drone up yesterday trying no. to look for that the golden yeah, retriever the over here, so I flew over the pond. No go. The whole thing is okay. Is cattails? It would need yeah, some. Yeah, it would need. It yeah. would be well. That's so. I, I, mentioned I thought it was that, just along the shoreline. Yeah, I mentioned it to Chris, and he's like, yeah. does, he's like, does Brian know what a job that would be? Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I haven't even looked at it, so yeah. no, we're going to stick with the liner. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if Mike and the events committee want to invest money in some lights <laughs> for the pavilion, then, oh, then let it. I'd say, I'd say we still keep that as weather. our, our okay. yeah. we would, Great. Uh, we would donate cleaning that pond out if you want. Uh, have you looked at it? Yeah, I looked okay. at it. We dumped some in there a few years I'll ago. I'll let you guys. But if you want, we would do that. When we were kids, it was nice to skate down there, so it would be nice to open that back up. I think. The only problem would be Jesse strong. is keeping it cleared off. Yeah, I, th I think from a liability standpoint, they appreciated us not using the pond because yeah. mm. if a kid's going to fall through the pavilion, it's only 
four, four or five inches, but the pond may be a little.